Hi Brad from WordPress Sites. Uh, this is the part two of restoring your full WordPress website backup locally on your own PC uh, using WAMP or ZAMP. In the, in the first part we've discussed uh, creating backup of your website files, uh, MySQL databases, uh, creating a new database on WAMP locally and importing your, your backup from your live server or your PHP uh, PHP my admin uh, using PHP my admin to, to, to import uh, your, your MySQL backup. Now we're going to look at the files and uh, how to put the files into WAMP and, and basically restore your full backup which is on your life server so uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that now and, and the first thing to do is I've got the, I've got the backup here I'm using BlogPress uh, rename <coughs> and rename the folder your backup to WordPress. That's the first step. Uh, second step: go down to your WAMP icon in the in the system tray. Uh, left click on it and uh, click on uh, www directory, and we'll open that up. And you can see WordPress in there. See, I've got an existing installation in there. So I'll just rename this. I don't want to do that. I'll just right click on it and rename it and just put dot old and that should be alright. I don't think I've got another one of the same though. I'll just drag that across to my desktop and I might install that later. Um, it's a bit slow. Now we'll take our backup that I've taken off the live server and we'll just drag that in. Okay, dokie. Now what we have to do now is change the config file because we've created a new database. So we'll just uh, open this up and we'll go down to config. We've got config and we've got config sample. Alright, let's uh, right click on this and go into our notepad plus plus and you can see my old details there. That was, these are the database name, username and password. So I'll just delete them out of there. And we'll put the new details in. New details. And here are the new details here. I've got the password here. Now this is the generated one from PHP my admin. So we'll put that, that's the name, username. Let's go down to password and we'll just paste that in. Um, and we'll take the database name and username which are the same. And we'll put these in. Paste. Paste. Save changes. And we should be good to go now. We'll, we'll just test it. Okay, now we'll go down to the uh, the WAMP icon in the system tray. We'll left, left click on this. Click on uh, local host. Now here's the WAMP server. You have seen this before, but you must have WAMP server installed. Uh, just click on WordPress. Okay, now it's restored the files, but it doesn't look as though it's restored the, the database. It certainly, I don't think it's changed. No, it hasn't changed the, um, hasn't changed all the links. It's restored everything. Okay, now the reason that didn't work was I needed to change three more things, otherwise it'll redirect back to my live site. So I had to go into my database, uh, WP underscore options, and I need to change these three things, site URL, home, and file upload URL. So I'll write them on the latest blog post so you understand exactly what they are. Here's the site URL, so I'll, uh, I'll edit this. So here they are here, site URL has to be changed to localhost forward slash WordPress, same for the home uh, URL and the file upload URL is uh, the same localhost WordPress forward slash WordPress content images. So here's the uh, site URL, just change that, click go. So there we have it, I've changed those three uh, settings in WP options, in, in PHP my admin, there's a lot of tables in there so it wasn't easy to find them, but they're the three, I'll put them on my latest blog post. Uh, cheers and good luck.